Welcome to Dance Mogul TV. We are live. Can you introduce yourself to our audience? What's up? I am Big City, the international hood boy, better known to the hip hop community as the rap artist Gemini the Gifted. Okay, can you give us some background information about yourself? Okay, um, I'm a recording artist, been recorded for years, recorded with the likes of uh, Mary J. Blige, Jimmy Wine, CeeLo Green, Sadat X, on and on and on. Um, uh, that's who I am, that's what I do. I'm, I, I write music uh, for film, television, so on and so forth. And what brings you here tonight to compete to your beat? To the well, beat. I'm here tonight. Well, first of all, let's say this. This is the this is the interview for the night. This is the one right here. Okay, I'm here for my boy Chocolat. When I was a young kid, little boy in East New. First of all, East New York is in the building. All right. I met Chocolat when I was probably 15, 14 years old in East New York, uh, Brooklyn. He was the big homie, and he was the one who taught us dance structure and discipline, and taught us routines and made us much better dancers. So that's the reason I'm here tonight, to pay homage to my boy, uh, Shaka. And yeah. what year was this when, can uh, you remember? Man, God, this had to be the mid, early to mid 80s. Early okay. to mid 80s, yeah. Okay, and back then you worked and you danced with Shaka Lock. Were you guys in a group or he just helped I you as a solo? I was never in a group. Unlike a lot of the guys that, that have been interviewed here tonight, I was just, a dancer who liked to dance. And Shock can attest to this. A lot of the guys that came from the neighborhood I came from, we weren't in groups. We went wherever dancing was going on, and we danced. And we danced against whoever it was. We didn't care if it was in the muse, in the tunnel, in the sound factory, in the limelight. We didn't care where it was. We went there, and we danced. And I, uh, me personally, I came up in that late, end of the break dancing era. I used to be an electric boogie dancer, so on and so forth. That's when I met Shock. And um, I kind of came into my own a little later in the flat top era, in the mop head era. And my contemporaries that I danced with at that time, and I was a much better dancer by the time because I had met Shock. But I had to put a little list together to let you know what was happening in that era. Okay. I danced. Tell us. I danced with guys like Hollywood and Dave, uh, who danced for Easy Mo B and the group Rapping is Fundamental. Uh, group, uh, guys like Hollywood, Phil Pavone, they danced for Father MC, Peter Paul, he danced for Tommy Hilfiger, Fendi, Henry Stretch, they danced for Mariah Carey, Richie, what up Rich, he danced for Madonna, Mark Quest danced for EPMD, Rubber Band, Peekaboo, they danced for Salt and Pepper. These were my contemporaries after I left the tutelage of the great Shakala. Okay, and how did you make a transition, or at what point did you make a transition from dance to music? I was doing it all the entire time, but um, by the time the mop head era was beginning to end, uh, myself and a lot of those dancers were making the transition. Um, guys like um, Diddy, Diddy was a dancer, he used to dance in clubs as well. He was making his transition over to Uptown MCA and doing that more. But if you look at old videos, you'll see him dancing. And guys like Peter Paul, who was an executive over at Tommy Hilfiger, he was making his transition into the, uh, into the uh, fashion industry. And I was making my transition over into the music industry at that time, along with a lot of other dancers. And dance. what were some of your uh, most memorable experiences, whether it was dance or music, where you was like, wow, you made it. Well, to be honest, my most memorable experience had, uh, there, there were two. There was one when I finally got out to the West Coast and toured. Um, I was over there at a Polygram at the time, Polygram Mercury, and I toured the West Coast and all of that. But the bigger one was when I got with a brother by the name of Danger Mouse, and we went over to Europe, and we did France, Germany, Scotland, England, you know, Wales, all of those places. That was probably the biggest at that time. Okay, and from all of those experiences that you had, your dancing and your music, what words of encouragement would you have for the young people? Because there's just so many distractions out here that can send them in the wrong direction. How was you able to stay focused to where you're still here with us today to be able to inspire them? How did you do that? Well, I say this, I say stay humble, um, a lot of stuff is cliche. Stay focused, of course, 
stay humble, um, but be realistic about where you are, what it is you do, what level you at. Uh, follow your gifts, not your talents. A lot of us spend a lot of time following our talents and not our gifts. Our gifts are the things that we do the best with the least effort. And I, I, I say that to most of them. But I also want to say this because this is something that I haven't heard said a lot tonight on camera, but I've heard it said a lot tonight when we were talking outside. It is very important that the chain of this culture remain unbroken. A lot of the time, uh, what I'm noticing is that the people who make it through to the higher levels of success in the entertainment industry don't put enough emphasis on the smaller things that happen to get them there. Those dancers who dance for all of these groups are the foundation of a lot of these groups. And a lot of people don't mention these dudes. That's why I took the time to make sure I say these guys mainly because these guys are legendary dancers. And people who made it in the industry, who danced or worked with shop, should have been saying his name. The guys that we saw in here getting these awards tonight, people should have been saying these, their names, singing their praises. And that's one thing that's lost in, in the dance community, in the urban dance community, that's the thing that's lost. The people who made it with the dancers as a part of what they do and as a foundation of what they do, don't go on to sing the praises of these dancers. I heard a story where Grandmaster Flash was accepting his award and I believe the, uh, Hall, it was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I believe it was, and I was told he mentioned these two dancers who used to dance for him way back when he was a kid when he first started and spoke about how they inspired him to be the DJ that he was. That needs to continue. And I think a lot of the young dancers need to hear that, to sing the praises of the people who inspired you to do what you do when you finally get that big break. When you break through to do whatever it else you go on to do. Remember, J-Lo was a dancer. Diddy was a dancer. A lot of these guys were dancers. When you break through, don't forget to mention the names of the prolific dancers who inspired you to take that route in the first place that led you to where you're going. And that's why we're here today. I'm here to sing the praises of my boy Shakala. And I didn't realize tonight that I was a part of this chain. So I want to make sure that the chain remains unbroken. And I want to give him all the props, all the respect due. Legendary dude. Everybody needs to know him. If you don't know him, Google him. East New York is in the building. Thanks so much for your time. Well, I appreciate you. Absolutely.